Put some bass in your voice. That's what someone told me once. I remember feeling a heat wave of rage rise from within my heart. I was offended. I was hurt. But that was just one of many of those types of comments that I've received from my early life. Don't move your hand like that. Don't walk like that. These are all things that I was told because the people that were saying them loved me and wanted to keep me from anything they felt would harm me or lead me into any type of danger. But for me, that scarred me. As a young black man who grew up in a black church and still is heavily involved with what is now a predominantly black church, masculinity and the perception of masculinity still tends to be an issue. There's an aversion to anything that seems to be the crumbling of what culture, past and present, has told us masculinity is. And from what I've experienced from the many black communities that I've been a part of, I've garnered that my natural personality bends were unacceptable. Not only were they unacceptable, my mannerisms pointed to the fact that I was less of a man than others. Not because of a Bible view, not even because of sexual orientation, because that's not what this is about although it could very easily be about that. It's because I decided to put my hand on my hip when I was angry at someone, or because I decided to use my falsetto to add some expressive highs to my voice that most men would avoid. So, I decided to water down my personality. I made conscious cuts to my mannerisms because I was, immediate, I was immediately perceived as gay or as a sissy, and I didn't want to be perceived that way so I, so I caged the most expressive parts of myself. I put some swagger in my walk. I still like Beyonce, but I put some bass in my voice. But there was a point in time when all of these experiences that I had in my life that attacked my identity as a man bubbled up into this one big, I can't take it anymore. I will never forget the day that I was having a voice lesson with my teacher, Rita. We were having, we were doing some scales and as I went up higher and higher I had to flip to my falsetto and it just wasn't sounding right so I gave up and said I don't like the, false, the sound of my falsetto. She asked me the very simple question, why? All of a sudden, I was very uncomfortable and was holding back tears. I told her that it sounded wimpy. I told her about this entire masculinity complex that I was dealing with. The truth is, the wimpiness in this part of my voice was how I felt constantly. I felt weak and, and inferior to all other men around. She then told me that to conquer this thing in my voice, I had to conquer it in me. It was then that I realized I could no longer keep up this facade. I couldn't pretend to be the macho, awful male. I was horrible at it. I was horrible at it anyway. <laughs> but I knew most importantly that God created me to be bold, expressive, and passionate, and that those qualities aren't gendered in the slightest. And to be that way doesn't make me less of a man. It doesn't, take, it doesn't take away my ability to marry the girl of my dreams or have children. So, I decided to be myself. I started talking with my hands. I let my voice go up as high as it wanted, or as low as it wanted. People started to tell me that I seemed different. I seemed free. Thanks to Jesus, of course, but also because I chose to believe that he thought that I was beautiful when he, when he made me. I even started to hug my male friends. I started telling them that I loved them, because I did, and I do. It's not romantic, it's simply love. I don't think I've ever been so secure in my life. I don't think I've ever been so free in my life. And it's all because I embraced who God made me to be, and not the image people wanted to project on me. So no, I will not put bass in my voice.
Hello, I'm O'Neal Gerald, and you're inside my Confessions of a Black Man series. I really hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, what I need you to do is subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we think deeply so that we create art that changes the world. And I also want you to share this video with someone that you know would be enlightened by this experience. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.